Namaste, madam. Namaste. We are very happy to have you with us for an interaction to know and to get inspired from your dedication. Today we have with us Srimati Ruby Ahluwalia, founder of Sanjeevini Life Beyond Cancer, cancer survivor, former civil servant, author, an artist, inspiration to the needy, nutrition and yoga practitioner, reaches out to thousands of souls with her acts of charity and care. Recipient of Change Maker Award and Exceptional Contribution in Governance Award. Congratulations to you, Madam. Madam has taken an early retirement from civil service and all her time and energy now from 2012 goes into her work for Sanjeevini Life Beyond Cancer, NGO started by Madam. Today, we would like to listen to you. We are very eager because uh, during the COVID time, I had a great opportunity to listen to you many times and even our students, social work students, learnt a lot from you. You are an inspiration to us. Today, from your experience, the challenges that you faced in life, could you please tell us a story so that it could inspire all of us? Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Vinita, for having me here. And uh, this is, I think, my third or fourth visit to Mangalore. Uh, I have been here on work before also, and it's a beautiful city. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to reach out to the audience in Mangalore. Talking of my story, it has been quite a roller coaster ride. And I think with most people, it is like that. I'm from the civil services. Uh, 1987 batch and uh, I was uh, you know my expertise has been in finance I have done a lot of work in hardcore finance in public private partnerships and uh, so life was good uh, career wise and life was very good family wise I had two young children and my husband is there so while I was posted in Bombay in 2009, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, stage 3 cancer. And uh, cancer is something which just uh, comes in your life. You know, suddenly it um, you know, drops a kind of a bomb on you. So it came into my life. Uh, it was... Uh, not an easy experience to go through at all. In fact, um, it was as uh, horrible <laughs> as it is known to be. Uh, it was as painful as most people think it to be. But uh, the fact also remains that uh, by grace of God, I did not allow myself to completely uh, you know, break down and shatter myself. Of course, family played a huge role and people who were around me played a huge role in that. Uh, but when I was going through the treatment, which uh, initially was difficult and uh, then gradually you do understand that any challenge that comes in your life, whether it is cancer or it is any other situation, uh, the best way to deal with it is to first accept it. Yes. Yeah. It has now come into my life. This is my reality now. Because only then do you put all your inner and external resources into it to deal with it in a way that you can come out of it successfully. So uh, I did the same. It took me some time to accept it. It, it really took me a little time to accept. But uh, once I accepted it, I started uh, exploring my own inner strength 
to understand it and uh, where it has come from what is happening in my body uh, when the treatment happens and there is so much of pain because of the treatment then what is happening in my body uh, you know so there was I think it became a very meditative experience from uh, for me uh, in a way you know pain gives you that opportunity pain gives you that opportunity to reach your inner self to the bottom most layer of your own being it is an opportunity which uh, everybody doesn't take but uh, since i am right now talking to a lot of people here my my uh, you know submission would be that if you are going through any pain in life cancer is just one of them people are going through uh, you know various kind of painful experiences but use those experiences to explore your inner strength how do you see pain or how do you see challenge in your life depends on you if you want to take it as an opportunity because see at the end of it whatever challenge has come into your life it will pass by everything passes by so this also will pass by nothing sticks to you most of the time in fact experiences leave us but we don't leave the experience mm. Yeah, we'll we'll just keep thinking about it, keep talking about it, or no? So yeah, so take this as an opportunity and see what it has for you here. And uh, something similar happened to me. So when I was going to Tata Hospital for my treatment. I used to tell my doctors that uh, you know I see so many people who are going through a similar experience here or a worse uh, than mine and they do not have probably any of the resources that I have. How do they go through the experience and I really want to do something for them and he used to tease me, I used to laugh that you are in stage 3 first you survive then you can do something yeah by God's grace I did survive and uh, then in 2012 I set up this organization which is called Sanjeevni Life Beyond Cancer um, the idea was to work primarily with underprivileged cancer patients but not to give them money or food that was not my idea it is a very important aspect of cancer care but I didn't want to do that I wanted to empower cancer patients in a way as I was saying just before that they see this whole experience as an opportunity and when they come out of it then they live their life at a higher platform than what they were living till now yeah if WHO you know the latest report is talking about one out of seven people going through this experience this is a huge number but the good story is that 85 percent of the cancers are totally preventable yeah how to prevent them how to work on them that became my passion and uh, uh, I continued the organization and my job uh, till last year and only last year I took voluntary retirement to work full time with uh, Sanjeevni so yeah that's, that's my story okay. and uh, that is where I am yes real inspiration I think all of us need to practice this in our life this is not that something we preach but it's from your story we can understand each one of us can try that practicing what you said great yes. madam and do you have any message because you must have come across so many people coming through your organization seeking for help and what is your message you know if I was to give a message regarding cancer uh, it would be that cancer today is totally curable it is totally curable it is a challenge which has come into your life 
and this is a challenge which will pass by the only thing is how much you are able to collect yourself and deal with it as a project to come out of it cancer will leave you but you will have to learn to leave cancer yeah that is important because i see so many patients who go through this experience medically they get cured but they are so absorbed actually uh in the whole cancer story of theirs that they start living life at a sub optimal level they have to come out of that that is extremely important another message which i really want to give to everybody is that it is possible to live a very nice beautiful healthy life and it is very easy to live that healthy life just that we keep messing with ourselves so much these days that we spoil our health so it is possible to live a cancer free life it is possible to live a disease free life just that uh, we have to get in touch with our true self and understand what exactly health means what exactly nutrition means what exactly physical exercise means what exactly meditation means are we doing all this just for the words of it or are we internalizing all this understanding all this and making every food that we have every drop of water that we drink every breath that we take are we using it to bless ourselves or to abuse ourselves and most of the time uh, you know what i see and i'm sure everybody sees that these days through our thought process uh, through what we eat what we drink the way we live we are continuously hammering ourselves we are bashing ourselves up we are not blessing ourselves so yeah another thing this is what i would like to tell people that it is important because once your health goes then nothing else matters it is it is worth giving your time it is worth giving your thought it is worth understanding as to what health means meaningful message madam thank you for that and also we have heard a lot about the organization ngo sanjeevini life beyond cancer and especially during the covid time itself we have seen that so much of activity you could do in spite of all those obstacles but could you please tell us something about in how far like you could reach out to the people and maybe you could brief us little about the activities that you could do it through sanjeevini life beyond cancer actually uh, sanjeevni life beyond cancer as i was telling you i wanted to empower people uh, that is how it started uh, today uh, sanjeevni covers the whole spectrum of cancer care starting from prevention going up to patient assistance when the cancer comes in someone's life and then uh you know rehabilitating them whether it is physical financial social rehabilitation also look at their nutritional needs and uh, uh there is a very important uh, part of cancer care which people need to understand is that immunity has a huge role to play in cancer like it has role to play in every disease yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. when covid was happening yes. that is what doctors were finally yes. talking that yes. your immunity has to yes. be in place and people need to understand what exactly is immunity immunity you cannot develop by having this vitamin that calcium you know that is not what immunity immunity you can develop only through three things one is your relationship with food the second is your relationship with your breath and the third is your relationship with your own mental constructs these are the only three things 
which determine immunity and everybody needs to learn that but in Sanjeevni we have a lot of focus on this so that people come out of cancer and also they reduce their probability of having a relapse of cancer. Sanjeevni is covering all this and uh, today we are working in 26 government hospitals of the country across uh, 14 states and we have worked with more than 7 lakh patients as on today and uh, the vision is that we are able to work in at least one government super speciality cancer hospital in every state in the coming years to come and uh, we are trying to do a lot of work with youth actually and that is how we also got connected Vinita isn't it yes. uh, you yes. are doing such wonderful yes. work in the space of social work and the idea is that the youngsters of today uh, understand of course the importance of their own health they understand the importance of putting in their bit in nation building and when you talk of nation building the first thing is the health and this and health today is physical as well as hugely psychological yes. yeah so the first thing is the health and the second thing is the right values and uh, if we are able to inculcate that in youngsters we are a young country uh, you know yes. in terms of having yes. so many young people and if they have understood how to keep them physically and psychologically healthy and they have learnt the right values and the right priorities in life is there anything which can stop us becoming uh, uh, you know the best in everything that we can so Sanjeevni uh, is working on a lot of things actually concurrently so at times uh, everybody who kind of helps me works with me my uh, husband who used to work with an oil company and now has completely dedicated his life to Sanjeevni and does so much of work and helps me so they all get annoyed at times uh, because um, I run at a pace where you know it becomes probably difficult to execute projects I too I totally understand but I know that the problem is so grave and the challenge which, co which comes with it is so painful that I would want that nobody should go through it we are really inspired by your message madam and also since you have come to Karnataka and today you are in Mangalore, we are very uh, eager to know, do you have any plans for Karnataka or in particular Dakshina Kannada district or Mangalore in the near future? Huge plans. So we have already started working in Manipal Medical College and uh, through Manipal Medical College where of course the number of patients who go there is massive and uh, there is also a lot of student fraternity which is there so i i think we'll be able to do great work there we have just started a couple of months back and uh, we would love to uh, work in mangalore as well on on both the sides actually in the hospital of course uh, in the communities in the whole student fraternity the idea is to work in the whole geography actually wherever we work so we we uh, actually um, i think sanjeevni uh, should be seen as a movement and people should join it as a movement i may have started it founded it because of my own experience and also 
because of the training that i have received in my civil services and the kind of confidence that gave me and you know the education uh, which came with it and you know all that went into it to start the organization uh, i'm i'm trying to keep the whole intent of the organization as pure as it can be uh, but a lot of people have already joined uh uh and a uh, lot more need to join for this nation to make use of this movement yes. so thank you vinita thank you so much to you uh and to global tv uh to you know give me this opportunity because i was in mangalore just for a day getting back from manipal and uh, so i am extremely thankful and i hope that more and more people should come in because i can't do this alone <laughs> i seriously can't do this alone i've yes. started but it needs all of you in some way or the other to join hands and yes. help that's why we are here today to give you a message also that we are with you from global tv as well as from school of social work roshni nilaya mangaluru and there are many social work colleges here in mangalore we are all with you like whatever we can have good discussion and we can be in whatever little way we can contribute we can do that the uh, colleges i'm sure are ready to do their helping in whatever way possible thank you thank you so much so we are so that. grateful to you madam for taking all your time here in spite of the long journey you had so much of energy you have to share your thoughts and you have really inspired us our prayer to god is that god grant you good health and your family sir also is supporting you what a beautiful couple there is another message going along with cancer how the couples can work together and support each other and with that the society can really benefit we only pray that let us all the society get the benefit from your services let us see that with the young india let us expect and hope for a healthy india thank you very much ma'am thank you